good morning. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. I pray that it is well with you this morning. I pray that it is well with your house and your children. Amen. I pray that it is well with uh, your loved ones. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, our God is a good God. He doesn't sleep nor slumber. He is everything. Amen. And everything is Him. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Family, I'm so proud of you. I'm so blessed to be connected to you. Uh, you know, um, I don't know what our word for 2019 will be, but right now I'm just stuck on that bloody season. I don't know if that's what the Lord wants us to enter into the year with, or it's just for now, between now and the end of the year. Okay, so we just hold on to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, Brother George, God bless you. It's a blessing to have you with us once again. Amen. Consistent being with prayer mantle from the beginning. Praise the Lord. Amen. God is good. Uh, Matthew, how many of you got an email yesterday? I sent, I dropped an email yesterday with some power pack stuff. How many of you received it? You got it? I hope you, you I, ho I hope you will take the time to study it. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. You got it, Sister Gina? Sister Brenda, did you get an email? You got it? So how come you didn't send an email today? Thank you, I got it. Praise the Lord. You know, I just sat down and I just, the Lord, you know, I just went into that mode. And if you study, you will see, see the blood of Jesus and everything that, you know, uh, it leads to. Do you know what I'm saying? Everything that it leads to. Miss, oh, I'm so sorry. You know, you don't have to give to get it, you know. It's just free. So please, 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 woman of God, do me a favor. Send me an email and just put a message you just put there. I donate and I didn't get it. Okay, so I'll remember to send it to you. But you know, it's free. You know, it's going to be, you know what I mean? You know, the word of the Lord, you know, it's free. So I'm sorry, okay, if you didn't get it. You know, or maybe check your junk email. Or maybe because I've not updated the email list. So I apologize for that, okay? Please. Okay? You can check your junk email or you just send me an email to say you didn't get it. And I'll get it sent out to you, okay? Please, I apologize for that. My bad. So, uh, you know, how many of you are... Uh, I know yesterday I talked about, you know, the father that his son in that California shooting. And there's also a video that I saw of a mother... Who basically was saying that I don't want your prayers. I don't want anything. You know, she wants there to be a change. How many of you saw that video? It really touched me. When she said, I don't, I don't want your prayers. I don't, you know, I don't want your condolences. I don't want it. So I'm saying, I'm fed up. I'm tired. I don't want it. And you know, I, you can't get upset. That's a mother. Listen, that's a woman who carried in her belly for nine months the pain, the agony mothers, those of you who've carried the pain, the agony brother George, you know, the discomfort you know, when you have to lie on one side, when the baby is kicking, when you feel discomfort, you carry that child into, you know into this world you clothe, you feed that child, that baby you watch that baby grow do you see what I'm saying? Whether you're a single parent or married. And then when the child has now become a man or a woman, a young man, a young woman, you know, and is getting ready to live their life, then this happens. I don't blame her. You know, I don't blame her. I don't blame her. Because you see, from one point of view, see, it's already happened. That's what I keep saying to you. It's already happened. You see what I'm saying? It's already happened. And I told you before, we can look at people in position. And listen, the last, you know, it's only, I think, recently that I realized that these guys that we call presidents and prime ministers and senators and, you know, mayors and, you know, they really got no power, you know. Why do I say that? Why do I say that? All of these things which are happening, if they had power, they can put a stop to it. Not just in America. Not just, you know, in, in, in Europe. They can put a stop to it. But guess what? 
It doesn't matter who's in power. Somebody else will come in power. Somebody else will come in power. And still nothing will be done. Because the real power, listen, their time, they have an allocated time. I am scared of you when your power is, is, is confined to time. redeemed for service you know i think it was the pain that she was going through you know like and whatever she meant see for some people it's happened already you know like in a way what's your prayer you know what's your prayer going to do for me is your prayer going to bring my child no so i don't want your prayers you see what i'm saying that's why i said that we pray so that these things don't happen you see what i'm saying we come together to pray we preserve listen remember i told you uh listen look at matthew chapter 26 verse 28 Reading for seven. Listen to this now. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. Okay? So, so the forgiveness of sins does not just happen until blood is shed. Until life is given. This, listen to me. This tells you how potent and how powerful it is, revelation-wise. It, there can be no forgiveness. If life is in the blood, then the only, listen, the only payment that can render somebody, you know, free, that can give you your freedom, is if life is given, if blood is given. That is what the scriptures are saying. So, for this New Testament to take over the old covenant, guess what? Life had to be exchanged for it. For it to have power, for it to be effective, because what is now, there is nobody that will allow anybody to come and take their position without fighting. And so, for the old to become obsolete, for the new to take effect, something, an exchange had to take place. And that exchange was the highest of anything. And that was, guess what? The blood. Life. Go to, you have the scripture already. Hebrews chapter 9. Remember? Verse 22. Remember? Where it talks about, And almost all things are by the law purged with blood. Do, 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 do you remember that, Sister Latasha? He said, almost all things. What is now? Remember, I told you, substitute blood for life what is now almost all things are by the law purged with life Ooh, it sounds deep now doesn't it when you replace it blood is still powerful but but when you when you use that word life because because the bible god tells you life is in the blood he gives you revelation don't eat blood because life is in the blood and now he's saying that almost all things are purged By the law. This is a law, you know. Do you see why those on the other side can't walk away from Because it is a law. It is a law which has been imputed, if that's the right word. From the beginning, that's how it was. Remember, he told them, he told them, what is now, if you eat of this tree, you will die. Guess what he did? Guess what he did? To prevent them from dying, he, he, he killed something else a substitute and poured their blood poured their life on the ground and said rather than you kill these two this is what i'm going to use so it has been initiated from the beginning god put it in place do you see what i'm saying god put that in place so anytime that is why when he, when he was ready to, to fulfill the fullness of it, he came himself and then offered himself. See what I'm saying? So you, you, you cannot miss it. You can ignore it all you want, but that is the law. It is mixed up. It is infused together with the law. Can't run away from it. It is the law. It is the law. That is how it is. Amen. 
this morning i want us to i want to say something to you uh you know our our girls at the catering school they came to see me today they called me yesterday every you know every week they have a practical okay so they have to buy some stuff they have to buy some cooking stuff you know the utensils the pots and the pans and all that kind of stuff and then they have to buy the what do you call it you know whatever they need to make we have to buy the ingredients so they called me yesterday and on the phone and you know alima said uh you know this is what you know uh they're going to need and it's a lot and i said how much is it and she told me i think 500 cities i said don't worry come tomorrow and get it but she said that's just for one part of it the others in the, 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 the so it, it all comes together to about let's say a thousand cities out you know my money so she, she came in today and i gave it to them and you know i was rejoicing on the inside you know why because i'm grateful to the lord sister valsa that when they call me i don't get nervous listen to this when they, when my phone rings and i see their name i don't get nervous you know i don't get nervous because see the word that the lord gave us from the beginning is still standing when he said he will put it into the warehouse because we said if he put it there guess what so the word just about that it's not a lie the warehouse is not dry do you see what i'm saying to be honest with you because you know the practical that they did, we didn't know that it was going to be every week at best you know brother i was told to be every two weeks so i didn't know it's going to be every week so listen i gotta be transparent with you so when when she called me and she told me that you know they get nervous as well because see they you know uh sister margie because you know they know how much is costing so even uh rahel just when they left they just left probably about, about two hours ago i told them i told them you know i asked them that's your list is it everything she, they said yes so when she was leaving she said um hey, daddy please uh you know there's no food at home but she was her tone of it i said speak up she said there's no food in the house i said don't worry uh later by monday i'm gonna get you some food stuff don't worry okay tell your mama i said hello <laughs> and i sat there and i said wow now it might it might not mean anything to you know somebody but when i look at the truthfulness of the word of god when i look at the fact that we came together with zero remember when we prayed and the lord has in his own way you know uh brother Ade, my you know the church that i go to you know uh i want to, i want to help the teens the young people so i was talking to my dad you know my dad and i said hey, that this was going on he said but you remember there's some books that you did for the young people in london years ago and i said yeah i remember he said well i've got some of them here so uh, you know you can get your guy to come and pick it up so that you can at least show them listen to this L look at this so you know just a few i woke up and you know, these are some books that I made, like when I was, I don't know how old I was, but I was very young. I made some books, about three of them. You know, it's got like, you know, Bible questions and, and all kinds. You know, let me, let me flip the camera around so you. I did this when I was very young, you know. Like, like look at one question. Uh, the tempter suggested that Jesus convert these to bread. So, you know, it gives you, you know. I don't know how old I was. I mean, I'm still young, by the way. And there's three of them, you know, like, th I, you know, three different levels. Listen, listen. God knows. Sister Gina, that's why I keep, stop stressing. I was talking to one of our sisters. I said, stop crying. God knows. Are you hearing what I'm saying? God knows. What I'm doing, the, the lessons that I'm sending you, it is not by coincidence. It has been in me from the very beginning. You see what I'm saying? It has always been there. It has been there. I've been disobedient. I, I, I've really got to get these books. These books. Kill that demon for me, okay? I'm being serious. Says the Valsa. Somebody listen to me. Just kill that, kill that demon for me. I'm being serious. Remember I said this a month ago, and I still didn't do it. So please pray for me. You know, I, you know, my dad gave it. There's three of them. There's level one. You know, see, level one is, can you see the Old Testament? See, the church that I was going to at the time, Grace Youth Ministry, you know, I did it. 
And you know, I, I put it together myself, you know. I did the binding myself. I got me a binder and I did it myself. I did it myself. I did about 20, you know, 30. You know, I knew how to do the binding. I did it myself. So it's not coincidence why you and me are connected. It's not coincidence why you and me are in this place. Do you see what I'm saying? And, and please, 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 and I'm saying, pray for me and push me because I'll make these ones available for, for, you know, you can just get it for your children. Bible study for them, young people. Bible study. Because it will get them to read the word of God. In the times and the seasons that we're living in, do you something? So, you know, when 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 they left us, you know, I had the money. Even my wife yesterday was, you know, because she had heard me talk on the phone, and um, they were telling me how much I was going to be. So she came to me and said, um, "I don't want to be. I'm not trying to pry into your business." I said, "I said it's okay." He said, "But it looks like every week they're coming for money." I said, "Yeah." I said, "Prayer man too." You know, I said, well, "You know, God has made the funds available." She was saying, "Are you sure?" I said, "Yeah." I said, "I ain't gonna lie to you. If I don't have it, I'll tell you I don't have it." I said, God has made it. You know, we have the money. It's not like we don't have it. We have the money. The money is there. Sister Mary sends me the account. We have it. So when they come and tell me what they need, I give it to them. I'm excited. And listen to me. I want you to come out from that zone. Don't you, don't you dare believe that God has forgotten about you. Don't you dare. Do you know what I'm saying? Don't you dare believe that God doesn't care about you. Don't you dare believe that he's not concerned about you. That is the trick of the devil. Are you hearing me? That is the trick of the devil. So they came for it. And brother, they guess what? I got into some trouble. And guess what I just did? When I called Rahel, her brother answered the phone. And I said, where is Rahel? I said, oh. So I said, who are you? He said, well, I'm Daniel. Remember, Daniela is a twin. So, brother, they so Daniel is the twin brother. Of Daniela. So I said, what, you know, what are you doing? Told me what he's doing, what he wants to do. So I, so I told him, come and see me. Came to see me today. He said he wants to get into architecture. I asked him some questions. I said, okay, I'm going to get my guy to call you. We're going to get you into contact with somebody. who's Because you know, I don't want you to, I don't want to commit to something. Let's just say that you may not be good at. So I want to know if you can do it before we make a commitment. And I promised him that we will help him. Just like we're helping his siblings. And so I told him, I said, I'm, we're going to help you just like we're helping your siblings. I told him to be prayerful. Listen to me, listen. There is, a, there is a fullness of joy that you get when you're doing your assignment. Look at, listen, that's what I keep saying to you. You know, when I saw them, I'm like, wow, I remember years ago. I mean, years ago, I did this stuff, not knowing what the Lord was preparing me for and listen some of you you know you think that ten dollars or that twenty dollars is nothing the devil is saying listen listen to me listen to don't you ever believe that you don't know what god is preparing you for you don't know the area you don't know the channels that you are opening up for yourself just by your obedience i did these books bought the paper myself bought everything myself bought the binding machine myself and it looked like I was crazy and I'll be doing this and I remember sometimes on my lunch break at work I'll be putting these books together sometimes on my lunch break I'll be putting these books together now look at what the Lord is doing so listen please don't let anybody it might look foolish now but trust me there is a cause there is a reason God is ordering your steps and you don't even know it. The blood is speaking. The blood is working. The blood is purifying. The blood is conditioning you. Listen to me. There is a voice that is speaking that is superior to your voice. And that is the voice that directs you. That is the voice that got me to do this stuff even when I didn't even know why I was doing it. And that is the prevailing blood of Jesus Christ. Listen, I've been saying, I don't ever want to see anybody connected to prayer mantle on, t on TV crying because somebody, you know, you've lost your child. 
or you know out of frustration say i don't want anything to do with prayer because you have got to understand what it is when we say we're praying because most times the people who say my prayers and my thoughts that they, they, they ain't praying it just sounds nice saying that but those who know about prayer those who understand the reason why you and i this year is going to end and is going to end well for us is because we have committed ourselves to prayer we find ourselves in prayer we are hidden in prayer you come looking for us you have got to bypass prayer and you know that's impossible there's a seal on us my god can't touch this one can't touch this one can't touch this one why because they are connected and they are surrounded by prayer prayer is working for them I said prayer is working for them mr. Brenda and these are some of the things that you know you be you you feel like you know even my giving what is he doing it's not doing anything for me that's the, you know, that that is the that is the other voice that is trying to talk into you it's not doing that thing see you have got see because listen see your giving goes listen to me your giving crosses borders you see what I'm saying your giving Think about it. Your giving crosses. Your giving is not stagnant. It's not staying in one location. It crosses borders, and it gives hope to people who don't have it. It gives focus to those who don't have it. It has transformed people's lives. It has changed the destinies of those who had no hope and who had no future. It has broken. You know, you hear about generational curses. Your giving has literally broken it. And so now, Sister Balancer, the other voice, Sister Winita, the other voice is saying, has God really said he should give the prayer mantle? Remember, this has been in the beginning. That's how I was in the beginning. Has God really said he should be given? Has God, has God really said you should, you know, pray? Has God really said it? You know, you don't even know what your money is doing. Are you sure? That's the other voice. That is the blood of the other voice. You see what I'm saying? That is the blood of the other voice. But whenever you apply the superior blood, say yes. And I want you to look at your look at, look at your account. Look at how blessed you are. Look at how I am conditioning you in this season. Look at the victories that you have had this season. Look At the avenues and the doors that have kept open for you this season. Look at the people who are prospering because of your obedience. It is speaking higher than the other blood. Because what is that? The blood of the devil. It is to circumvent. It is to shut down what it is that God is using you to. Because listen to me. Let be honest. You stop giving. These people can't go to school no more. When they come to you and say, I ain't got no money. You know what I'm saying? If you stop giving and they can't say, listen, prayer man too, I ain't got no money. I can't do it. Because the money ain't coming. God lied to me. God never told me to do it. Because I ain't got no money now. So I can't do it. Be honest and be transparent. And that is what ultimately the devil wants. Because anytime that voice of doubt, we call it doubt or, or whatever you want to call it, it is a voice of the devil. It is a voice that wants to get you into a position where that which God has said. Remember in the garden, has God really said? Has God really said? Did he really say it? You know God knows the day that you eat up. You know you can use that money to buy you. You know you can, you can, you know, increase your your subscription for Netflix. You can watch a whole bunch of movies. You know, you can go and, you know, uh, do this. You know, you can do this with that money. That's that. That's the you know, say. You can buy this. You're so silly. That money that you give to that ministry, you could you could have used that money to buy this. You could have just added a little bit to it, and you could have done this. Come on, be honest. It it happens. It happens even to the best of it. It happens because it doesn't make sense what you're doing, especially in the world that we live in today, Sister Cheryl, where we see so much fraudulent activity in the pulpit. So you don't even need sometimes the devil to even whisper to you. You just have to look around. The last time he was duped. The last time he was lied to. You see what I'm saying? 
That is why he will tell you, you, you know, you can buy some shoes and look so good. When you go to church, everybody says, oh, you look very nice. And there are people who fall into that trap. There are people who fall. And this one, the Lord is just whispering and speaking to you and I. And say, so listen to me, elevate the voice of the blood. Christmas has come, Sister Brenda, you know, you know how it is. You've got to cut some corners. You know, okay, this month I won't give so I can buy a present for this person. This month I won't give to prayer mantis so that I can do this. Come on, be honest. Don't, don't do that to me. Because honestly, be honest with you, and, our, and Sister Mary will confirm it. Most of the time you will see that when it's getting towards the end of the year, the giving of the ministry goes down. I'll, I'll be honest with you. That is the truth. You see it. Do you understand? Sister Cheryl, can I say it? Should I, should I really tell it like it is? You know, that's what it is. Towards the end of the year, you know, they give because you know, people are, you know, trying to work a few things out. You see what I'm saying? And if you're not careful, Sister Akila, we ourselves can be the, 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 the block. You know, we can block the channels. We can, you know, why would I be so confident to call that young man and say, hey, we're going to help you? Because I see what God is doing. I see what the Lord is doing. And this one, I believe God, God just used you, Sister Brenda, to help us kill this demon. You know what I'm saying? God just used you to help us kill. Because listen to me. Listen, that is why giving is attack. Because listen, that is why even it's like, you know, the fraudulent activity that is happening in the pulpit, the devil is intensifying it to mess with people because people have mishandled. You see what I'm saying? People have mishandled the giving. People have enriched themselves from the giving. And so now, anytime you hear about giving, you start going to defensive mode. Uh oh, there they come. All they want is money. You see what I'm saying? So even those who are doing the right things, the truthful ones, are having a difficulty. The day you stop, listen, anytime the devil writes, say, listen, the day I stop giving to prayer mantle, our farming project shuts down. Our scholarship project shuts down. We can't do any of that stuff no more. The ministry shuts down because we don't, we, we're not able to do. The, the, the pillars and the foundation of this ministry is the things that we do. That's why I sent you the account. I sent you a breakdown of what, of what we've done so far. They're giving. How far it has reached. Because and, and now it makes sense why it happened. Because some of you, the devil has been fighting. Oh, I feel God. And I thank you for your transparency, Sister Brenda. It takes a lot to say what she said. Sister Brenda, I thank you because, you know, sometimes you might think you're the only one, but you're not. Oh, yeah, sometimes you might, you're, you're not the only one. Because, listen, you see, it is, and, and I say this, Sister Cheryl, and I think we've, we've had this conversation before. It's amazing how, you know, Sister Cheryl, you know, how those that are doing the fraudulent activity, it looks like they keep prospering, right? Because, you know, you see them like, you know, they're doing what, And then you, the one that's doing the genuine work, you're struggling. Isn't it amazing? That's how you think about it. But God, I'm just trying to do the right thing. But you, you know, do, do, do you know what I know? Sister Winita, they have a short lifespan. Because never mess with God's money. They have a short lifespan. Never, never mess with God's money. You know, I'm so blessed that I get happy. I'm happy this morning when they came and I gave them the money and they went. I wasn't trying to say, God, how, how am I going to get this money for them? God, I don't have the money. God, how am I going to, you know, I need to, you know, God. I'm so glad. And brothers and sisters, listen to me under the sound of my voice this morning. If you don't hear me, Hear this. Hear this. Everything that we're doing is possible. Because, and listen to me. When the devil, listen, sometimes when the devil is speaking or when you hear that negative voice, don't, don't just sit there and be quiet. Talk back to that devil. Talk back to that devil. Ha! Say, yeah, you want me to stop giving so that Rahel and Alima will not go to school no more. You want me to stop giving so that Joel will not go to school no more. You want me to stop giving so that the farming project will shut down. That's what you want me to stop doing? You are, you, you, that's, why, that's why your name is the devil. 
you should be ashamed of yourself. And listen to me, you know, when you talk like that, the devil really feels like you should be ashamed of yourself for coming into my head with that suggestion. You should be ashamed of yourself. Because, because that is what the devil wants, the shame to come on the ministry. We started something and we didn't do it. We couldn't complete it. We got them into school. And now look, we lied to them. That's another failure. They can't trust nobody no more. So listen to me, listen to me. Even as things might get, and sometimes it is not even so much that you're struggling. You just feel like, what is the point? And, and I understand that. Because when you don't see, what is the point of me giving? What is the point? It ain't benefiting me. Remember one time she shared somebody sent me an email, say, you know, uh, you know, basically along the lines of, well, you know, you know, this stuff that you're talking about is in Ghana. You know, I'm in America. So basically, in a way, it don't concern me. Be serious. I told the person, you know, you don't need to be on prayer mantle then. It's okay. God bless you. Find somewhere else and pray. You see what I'm saying? And th 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 there are people like that. Yeah. I'll be serious. It don't concern me. But that day, you know, say, say, you know, you know, you know, you might think it's the wrong way to think, but you know, for some, yeah, he said, you don't concern me, you know, you see, but you've got to know, listen, I did these books when I was in London, helping the young people there, not knowing that 10, 15, 20 years later, here I am in Ghana, these books are going to come alive again. So listen to me, let me tell you something, everything that we're doing, everything that we are talking about, listen to me, it is tomorrow. It is in the future. Some of us, maybe when we are no longer alive, the legacy that we've left behind, that child that sees you every morning staring to Periscope will be wondering, what's my mom doing? What's my dad doing? What's my auntie doing? Oh, she was praying. That is what kept her. That is what sustained her. Guess what? I'm going to get me a prayer life. Listen to me. You know what? Something just came to my mind. Let me show you. I don't know if you remember, but the, there's, a, there's a part in this book that should give us an idea of maybe when I started doing this book. Remember there was a time when there was this uh, there was this guy, right? He used to be a rapper. You know, he used to rap with a, a hip-hop artist with uh, Sean Cohn, Puff Daddy, Mace. Do you remember that time? You know, there was a guy called, and I think he gave his life to Christ. I think he's gone back into that world now. Because I know that I've got a part in this book that talks about, you know, his story, his testimony at the time. That's amazing. M-A-S-E, Sister Juanita. <laughs> you remember? Yeah. Uh, I think I've got a part in this book about him. So that was, so when did he get converted, if you know? Do you remember? When did he get saved? I know he's gone back into the world now. I know, I know he's gone back into the world now, but... You know, he got a church, he got, you know, he became a pastor and everything. I think maybe he rushed into it. Maybe that's why he couldn't last. But there's a page in this book that has... Who, who, who remembers? It was right. Okay, so brother, you're talking about 96, 97. That is when I did these books. Yeah, that's when I did these books. And it even scares me when I see it now. Yeah, that's yeah, that's when I did these books. Yeah, he's a rapper here, yeah. Mason Betha. He was with Pub Daddy, Sean Combs. Do you remember those of you that you know? I'm just trying to find the page. He came out. So, brother, did that means that, that year might not be right? Six years ago? No, he's been this for a long time. I'm just trying to find the page. But basically, that's when I did this. So, early 2000s. Yeah, I believe it was early 2000s. It was early 2000s. MC Hammer, Sister Cheryl, that's... No, no, please, no. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> No, no, no. It's, I think it was the early 2000s. So that is when I did this, these books. Look at, look at us today. Mr. Cheryl, MCM, that's like, that's, that's your time. 
That's your time. That's your time. We know some of us were still young. Sister Juanita, I think I'll go with you. 17 years. He has been like that. So 17 years ago, the young me put my money. I used to, you know, when I was working, I'd take my money, I'd buy the paper, I would print, I'd buy the ink, buy the hard, hard, the, the cover paper, and the transparent one. I got me the binder, I learned how to do binding. Why was I doing it? Why? What was driving me to do it? What was driving me to focus on it? God. So listen to me, listen to me, because you know, I believe you know your brother's heart. Listen to me. Everybody gets saved now. People coming out with all kinds of names. Randy MC, MC Hammer. The devil is a liar. Listen. Oh, Sister Juanita. Oh, one of your friends used to go to his church. I think the church, I guess he's no more the part. I guess he, he must have gone through a lot of, you know, stuff. Listen to this. When the devil comes against you, when the devil comes and tries to tell you about your giving, say you're crazy. What are you giving to the ministry for? Tell them devil. So you want all of these children that we're sponsoring, you want, you want them to stop going to school. You don't want them to become anybody. Listen, you do you know why you're getting attacked that way, Sister Brenda? Anytime you stand to break a generational curse, because what is now, it has become such a stronghold that the devil wants to intimidate you to prevent you from carrying out that act because that's what we've been that's what we've committed to and i want you to close your eyes right now and just meditate on the word of god the word of the lord that he gave us when we started this ministry the word of the lord that he gave us when he spoke and he told us to prepare the warehouse because guess what he is going to be putting things into the warehouse. You know what he was referring to? He was referring to you. You cannot give unless God has given to you. All that you're doing is you're replicating what your father does every day, every minute, every second. My God. That's all you're replicating. You cannot call yourself a child of God. You know how, do you know how I know somebody's your child? If somebody says, you know, uh, you know, this is my father, this is my mother. I can see some character traits that you have in them. Mr. Cheryl, if I look at your children and your children are not givers, I would say that cannot be your child. Mr. Valsa, if I looked at if I look at anybody that you call your child, what is now, and they don't behave the way you behave some character traits then i would doubt their paternity or their maternity oh god the bible simply says to sister brenda if, if if they come up against you again say for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son this that i'm given is not my only begotten i've not even reached that level yet so devil what are you talking about what are you talking Sister Brenda, when that devil comes, say, this that I'm giving, he gave his only begotten son. Sister Latasha, what are you talking about, devil? Get out of this place. How dare you even try to talk to me? And I pray and I hope that this has been, uh, uh, you know, it has lifted up a covering, a heavy coat, a heavy garment of somebody this morning. We are doing great things. It's just that, you know, I don't bother people. I don't like to bother people. I don't like to be, you know, banging on stuff. So sometimes, and I think maybe, Sister Cheryl, I need to do this a little bit more. Do you see what I'm saying? So sometimes it allows a void is created and it, and it, 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 it allows the devil to step on in. Do you understand? You got to talk back to that devil. But brother, you got to talk to that devil. Say, oh, you know, if I'm a child of God, all I see my father doing is giving. Devil, I ain't even gotten anywhere near with my giving yet. If you're coming against me now, what are you going to do when he starts giving me millions and I start giving millions away? What are you going to do? You got people like Bill Gates. has made his money. I don't know if the man is saved. I don't know what his spiritual composition is. But here he is all over the world giving away his money. <laughs> 
giving away his money. And I'm saved, and my daddy owns everything, and he gave of himself to me, and the little that he's blessed me with, I can't give it. Devil, take your hands off my life. In Jesus' mighty name. Be encouraged, folk. Listen, Sister Cheryl, I know I spend a lot of pounds. You know, the UK, we spend pounds sterling. I spend a lot of pounds putting these books together. Oh, yes, I did. I never asked for the money back. Spend a lot of money putting it together. Then. So, child of God, you are not alone. Do you know what I'm saying? You are not alone. It's true, the IRS, they, it's true. You know, most of the time when they want to, you know, they, they give money to charity so they can write off certain things. It's true. See, you, you have to understand it. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm telling you. Do you know what I'm saying? You have to understand this giving thing. I know it's been, you know, it's been perverted. It's been, but all across the world, you know, like if you give donations to charities and stuff like that, at the end of the year, you can write up a whole report. It happens all over. You know, in the UK, you know, like those of you in the UK, you know, for every, like, let's say, if you give money to charity, right? So for every one pound that you give before, I think it's like 25 pence or whatever, you know, that you can claim, that the charity can claim from your tax. Look at, we claim that we live in a very sinful world that we probably do. But look at, even the world has enough sense. They understand charitable act. So, so when you go in the UK, when you go to church and you, you sign what is called a gift aid form, any money that you give, they can claim a certain amount of tax back on it. That is written into the law of the land. So when certain nations are being blessed in spite of the evil, we don't understand. There are some things which the founding fathers have written into the law. Am I right? Thank you. There are some things which have been written into the laws of the land. by the Because most of the time, the founding fathers, some of them were saved. If you look at the history of a lot of the nation, the founding fathers were saved. They understand the word of God. They understood who God is. So, you know, they have put certain things in place so that the judgment of God. Because, listen, a lot, a lot of these nations, God should be raining down judgment right now. But ask yourself why he's relenting. Because there's some things which has been, you know, entwined with the law that you can't walk away with, that you, that you can't undo. doesn't matter who you are when you come and sit on the throne, you can't undo it. If you try to undo it, watch the nation come to a standstill. To pray mantle, this morning, I believe the Lord is Lord. The Lord has broken. Ah, the Lord has broken us through in that area of giving. Those of us who have been consistent, those of us who are still, you know, giving, God bless you. Listen, it is okay. Don't feel down. If you stop giving, if you felt a bit weary, the devil, don't worry about it. Don't, don't judge yourself. Okay, it's happened. It's happened to me before. Do you see what I'm saying? So don't, don't, you know, because listen, it doesn't make sense, I know. So it's okay. Okay? We are grateful to God for giving us another chance. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Ha! Should not perish but have everlasting life. You know, I said to, I was having a conversation with Sister Vance, I said something and the whole place went quiet. I said, you know what? I said, you know, I don't want to type no more. They went quiet. What do you mean? I said, well, tithing is 10%. percent i have been saved for how many years? If all I'm going to keep doing is giving 10%, then I ain't really blessed. I said, that every year I want to increase. I want to go from 10 to 20% to 30% to, you know, I want to get to that point. Because I was reading some stuff and it challenged me. You know, there's people who give 90%. Be serious. Yes, Amanda. There's people who thought, we give 90, 90%. See, you have to have that as your target as your goal and watch god make it come to pass so i said i said people are arguing about 10 percent i read about a man who gave his only begotten son that wasn't 10 percent she said latasha lady d no i'm being serious 
you know, that's not 10%. That is, that is the 100%. He gave his only. And I'm here arguing and stressing about 10%. encourage that's how the 10 percent <laughs> so somebody said he's only begotten son it wasn't like he gave up all you know i've still got one left or i got two left you know what i mean he gave off that one and he loved his only begotten but he gave him off so that you and i can be here today prayer mantle you know your brother i love you okay everything that you're doing for the ministry i appreciate it okay please help us do what we do every month Okay, help us do what we do every month. Okay, help us fulfill the mandate. We are very grateful for your giving. Listen, we appreciate every dime that you give to the ministry because that is what helps us to do what we're doing. That is what keeps us grounded. That is what keeps us where we are. Okay, so please don't let the devil mess with your mindset. The word of the Lord has come today. For God so loved the world that he gave of his only begotten son. You love God. You love prayer mantle. You see what God is doing. You see the girls. You see the young men. How God is raising them up. Some of these young boys would have ended up in crime. They would have ended up as criminals. They would have, they would, they would have ended up doing worthless things with their lives. But because of you. I love that brother. He said feed what feeds you. I love that. Feed what feeds you. If you believe in what God is doing, look at our consistency. Look at our longevity. We're still here. We ain't going nowhere. I tell you the truth. I was listening to a lady on YouTube yesterday, how a preacher. She put a preacher's picture on, on YouTube. Said the guy duped out of seven thousand dollars. And I was listening to her and I, I felt I felt so sad for her. Told the story of how it happened. How the guy told her the Lord said, Come and see. Come and see me after the service. She went to see him after the service. There's a whole queue. When they when it got to her turn, said, "This is what the Lord is saying. You need to buy back your life because I see death following you." And the Lord is saying, "You need to buy back your life." And you buy back your life by giving ten thousand dollars. She, she said, "I can't do ten thousand. He said, "Okay, we'll do seven. She said, "Fine," but he said, "Do seven. And then he said, "Write it in two or three different checks. Leave the you know where where you know where it says pay whoever. Leave it blank. Bring me the checks." When she did it, and she checked the record, she found out that the, the, the host pastor, Sister Amanda, the host pastor and the guest prophet, one took, you know, the guest prophet took the 4,000, you know, the check, the first check, and then the host pastor took the $3,000. They split it amongst themselves. Yeah. I was watching, I was watching on, 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 on YouTube. She's gone in. I think I think it happened in America. It was a it was a it was a it was a false prophet who, who's also gone in. <laughs> I was like, I've been saying this for a long time. People just don't want to hear it. How can the Lord tell you to buy back your life with money when he's already paid for it on the cross with his blood? If money can buy your life, then the blood is useless. Amen. So straight away, if you know the word, or if you've been on prayer man to you, they look and say, you, 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 you know, you is a false prophet. You are a false prophet. The Bible don't say that. And you, then you walk away. Be careful. Listen to me. Be careful. Those who prophesy to you and they tell you afterwards, come and see me for counseling. Be very careful. Okay? Be very careful. Between now and the end of the year, I told you some of them, they've come to your country. Already. Some of them are coming. Some of them are there now. Some of them will be coming. Okay? Sister Juanita, you, you, do you see it? A whole bunch of them. Okay? A whole bunch of That's why I give you the word. I send you emails. Read the word. No gimmicks. No gimmicks. Just the word, Sister Cheryl. That's all. Just the word. The word works. Especially in the tax. I'm telling you, that they're there. In the they know you're going to be getting your tax returns. The, the, the Lord showed me your account. They're lying. They know you're getting your tax returns. The Lord didn't show them nothing. You hear me? When they come say, you have a brother called Albert. He's in Ghana. He's exposed all of you guys to me. Especially when you come, when you come across the Ghanaian ones. Tell them. I'll be serious. 
They said, we need to, you, you, you listen, you need to, you, you, you need to talk to me. Listen, if you come up against them, says Cheryl, I'm going to get in trouble. Say, hey, you was a false prophet. I have a brother in Ghana. His name is Albert. He says, you guys are doing a lot of trickery. You guys are liars. Tell him, tell them when you see them. Give them my number. Amen. Tell them to call me. I ain't scared of them. He said, we need to tell, tell them, make, give, give, give them my name. In Jesus' name. It's a whole bunch of them. Listen, it's a whole bunch of them. They, they, they are causing so much mess. They are causing so much confusion. They are duping. They are lying. All kinds of stuff. And when they come, they sleep with a whole bunch of women in America, in the UK. That's what they do. A whole bunch of them. I've been, Sister Cheryl, how, how long have I been saying this, Sister Winita? Sister Jackie, I've been saying this for, oh Lord Jesus. I've been saying this for a long time. Listen, you know a call to prayer, our flyer from this year? One of these so-called prophets stole our flyer, our design, put his face on there and called it a call to prayer. Same design, everything. I said, I called, I said, Brother Vincent, I gave you the, uh, you know, for you to design a call to prayer. I said, the guy who designed our flyer, I said, did he copy from somebody? I said, call him and let me, let me know. Before, before I start getting angry. Called the designer and said, no, he designed it from scratch. Sister Amanda, I'm, see, that's why sometimes we don't talk. I had to call my bishop and I said, bishop. Call my bishop. I said, bishop Francis, this is what's going on. I said, Albert, don't worry about it. You, some of you sorry? Uh-huh. They are liars. They are false prophets. I kept quiet because my bishop, you know, my, you know, my father told me to keep quiet. He said, don't say nothing. They are false prophets. Please don't mention no names. I beg you. Stole our design. The picture of me, Prophet Vincent, and Prophet Khan. They stole it. It was our design. Our designer designed it from scratch. They stole it. And some of you follow these guys. Some of you, some of you, the foolishness that they're doing. You follow them. It's a Jackie. And when we want to, when we people don't want to, they don't want to hear it. They're leading you to destruction and to hell. They're liars. They are fraudsters. You know what I'm saying? They are fraudsters. When we when we're saying it, people don't want to hear, especially our sisters. Do you understand? Our sisters. They jump into bed with these guys. They come and they, especially when they come from UK, America, whatever, they come to Africa and they come and lie to you. And you, and you, some of them have even come to America and they're lying to you in America. You guys, you guys are buying what they're saying. Oh, so woman, well, don't be sorry. I wasn't sorry. I was laughing because I said to myself, I said to Cheryl, wow, wow, pray, man, we, we must have made it for somebody to see our flyer. <laughs> We must have made it for somebody, for somebody to see our flyer and steal it. I mean, we made it. I'll be serious. That's what Bishop said, Albert. You know, laugh because, you know, it shows that people are watching you. Sister Cheryl, do you remember? You see, when we talk, listen, when we've seen these things. Listen, we've been, ch we've, been, we've been chasing God for a very long time. Please hear my heart. Do you know what I'm saying? Just because somebody called your name. Listen, some of them, listen to me, listen to me. They have people that they plant. Sister, Sister Juanita, they will come, they will, they will have services. They have people that they plant into the service. And they will tell them, go around. So for instance, Sister Juanita, you go to the meeting, you don't even know. You go there, somebody comes, oh, what's your name? Oh, hey, my name is Albert. What's your name? Oh, Jackie. Oh, Juanita. Okay. Oh, so what do you do? Oh, where do you live? Oh, da, da, da. okay, all right. Now, you don't know how close I am to the man of God. So guess what? As I'm talking to you, one, I could be I could be recording what you're saying, number one, or I could be uh you know, I would take, you know, I would just write on WhatsApp. 
all the stuff you've all, all the stuff you've told me before the man of god will come out i say oh so you know where are you sitting okay says jackie you're sitting on the fourth row on the left hand side okay fine so i'll say says jackie there's a woman here called jackie she's sitting on the fourth row on the left hand side she's wearing red she's wearing black shoes uh she lives in wherever she lives you know i put it down and then you know say xyz fine then i'll whatsapp it to the you know to the preacher the so-called prophet he will read it when he comes out you're the first one he's coming to prophesy to then the place goes hey the, the place goes mad the place goes mad he says well you know what the lord is saying everybody should give me a hundred dollars because of the stuff that he has said that you don't know he already had it how did somebody says how how did they get your numbers well, you know, <laughs> you know, you know, uh, thank you, Sister Cheryl, just about to say that. You know, you, you, you sign up, right? Don't you remember? You joined their mailing list. Don't you remember? You called into their prayer line. Don't you remember when they posted their flyer and they said, those of you who are coming to the conference, like it. Let me know if you're coming. Don't you know that before they come to, before they come to minister, at the back they have screens where they can see those who are in the service? If they see a face and they recognize the face on Facebook, they just go to remember I was saying this. I said some of them need to start, some of them need to start giving Mark Zuckerberg 10%. Because Mark Zuckerberg has made prophecy so much easier. Because all they need to do is read your information on Facebook. Don't you know that? You don't know all of this stuff? Information is being harvested. You see what I'm saying? Sister Charlene, information is being harvested on Facebook, all these platforms. You can buy information. Don't you know that? You can buy information. You can buy people's email, all kinds of stuff. And my people are destroyed because of a lack of knowledge. My people are damaged. My people are lazy. My people don't want to pray. My people don't want to seek my face. They're seeking my hand. Anytime you don't seek the face of the Lord and you seek his hand, guess what? You will end up in the hands of the wrong prophets. You hear me? That's all that will happen to you. That's all that will happen to you. I've been saying that people still, people still end up getting themselves involved in these guys. They come and lie to you and you, and you follow them. They're the son. They're liars. They're liars. A word to the wise is enough. I've done my best. I believe I'm, I'm helping you. Do you see what I'm saying? I send you information so you can study. I tell you what it is that we're doing so you can support. Listen to me. Uh, you've never heard me say, if you give this amount, you know, sister, sister, sister Gertrude, give this amount and tomorrow God is going to turn your situation around. That's a lie. Say, hey, we, we, know we need help. You, you, you know what giving does. If you're in a position to help, help us to help these people. And the Lord will bless us as his word says anyway. That's what we do in prayer, man. So listen to me, we will never be trending. And thank God for that. Amen. Because God knows what he's called us to do. So listen, from my house to yours, I love you. I appreciate you. Sister Cheryl, I shared this stuff with Sister Cheryl, Sister Cheryl William, before, you know, when this stuff happened. I called my pastor Bishop. I was like, brother, I was in bed. I was in bed and I was just, you know, I think I was on Instagram and I was just, you know, scrolling. And I saw, I'm like, oh, oh hold on a minute. I jumped out and said, oh, what's this? I said, this looks like, this looks like our flyer. So I said, you know, brother, do you remember I did a conference with brother Vincent? And Brother Vincent handled the artwork. So I said, Brother Vincent, I said, tell me something. Did you, did the person who designed our flag, did they get the template from social media, you know, from the internet? So he called him. The person is in Canada. And the person said, no, Prophet, I did it myself. It's my own design. Be serious. I called, I said, I called my bishop, Bishop. I said, Bishop Francis, this is what's happening. He started laughing. I said, Bishop, this is serious. Why are you laughing? Because Albert, just be happy that somebody you know they're doing that it, it, it means people are watching me i said thank you jesus so that's what calmed me down be serious because i was getting ready to go off you know me i was getting ready to go off i ain't scared of those people you understand 
Sister get you. Yeah, remember I told you to get you. I, I ain't scared of I ain't scared of them. I ain't scared of them. I ain't scared. I'll, I'll tell them about themselves. Have a whole bunch of people fooled. A whole bunch of people fooled. Messing with people's lives and destinies. And people are so gullible that they subscribe to them kind of foolishness. I ain't scared of them. Mind my own business. Don't try, don't touch me though. That's true. If you're no one but God. Do you understand? Listen, let's wake up as a people. Okay, those who are making a mockery of our belief. Let's let them know that we ain't scared of them. God is watching them and God will get them. Amen. God is good. Yes, the one that used the flyer fake. What do you mean? If somebody can steal a flyer, if somebody can steal somebody's design intellectual property, will you believe will you believe anywhere that comes out of that person's mouth? If I take something that you own and I claim it as mine, will you believe me? Thank you. Because that tells you the kind of person that I am. I'm a thief. You should not believe anywhere. God ain't speaking to me. Because if I have the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost will tell me, uh-uh. They ain't got the Holy Ghost. They are false. They are liars. Amen. My name is Albert Adai Sanfu. And everything that I said, I stand by it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. By your heads, let's pray. Father, we thank you this morning. We thank you this hour, God, for this great time of conversation and sharing. We pray that, God, you'll be with us. You will help us. You will anoint us. You will let us be vigilant, Father God, so that we will not be taken in by any demonic agenda and any demonic assignment. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this opportunity to share in Jesus' mighty name. Cover us, cover our children, cover our loved ones. Father God, strengthen us. Let us study your word. Let us know you, God, and let us stay committed. Father, continue to bless us, even as we give and support the vision of this ministry. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Family, I think it was a blessing this morning, okay? And I'm glad we, you know, every now and again it's good to have a conversation. You know, it can't be spiritual, spiritual all the time. You know, we've got to talk. Amen? It helps. So I pray that this has been a blessing to you. Thank you so much for those of you who supported. Listen, I didn't know that people had seen that flyer, you know. Hey, you people, you are too sharp. You are too sharp. I didn't know, Sister Wanita, you saw the flyer. I kept quiet, you know. Hey, some of you are too sharp. God is good. It just tells you, listen, don't try to think you can do certain things. You know, sin is sin. God will expose you. Amen. I didn't know people are seeing it. Yeah. Okay. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Okay. So God bless you. It is well. Sister, we need to get in touch. Okay. Get in touch so that I can give you a call. If I owe anybody a phone call, please let me know. Okay. In Jesus' name. Um, Sister Jackie, did you get your response? Did you get a response, Sister Jackie? I should have responded to you by now. Okay. So thank you all. Okay. In Jesus, my sister Valsa. Okay, so those of you that need me to, and I, I, I called one of our sisters yesterday. So those of you that need, just please drop me an email, okay, please, with your number. Drop me the email with your number, okay? God bless you. Brother Adi, God bless you as always. Brother Willie, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Uh, devil is alive. Sister Jackie, I didn't? I thought I did. Okay. I'll look at it again, okay? Thank you. God bless you. Okay. This is Jackie. Okay. All right. Okay. Bye-bye.